You are welcome to the uh, CAD B uh, booth. Uh, I'm engineer Gaitha Sraira, uh, project manager for Al Wash Vehicle. Al Wash Vehicle is a 4x4 vehicle, has been designed and manufactured by CAD B using Tetra chassis, and it, uh, it was uh, designed to accommodate uh, 10 crew men, uh, 8 uh, person uh, driver commander. Uh, also, this vehicle ha has been uh, designed with a uh, high uh, protection level uh, as Stanek 2 and also the vehicle has an independent suspension that gives the vehicle a, a high mobility in the on-roads and off-roads uh, as in, uh, showed in the bro brochure. Also the, the, also the vehicle uh, can, provide, can be manufactured in, in many different uh, scenarios as an APC, IFV, uh, command and control, uh, border, border uh, patrolling and uh, convoy protection. This turret is produced by one of our sister companies. The protection of the uh, turret is the same protection of the vehicle and also the vehicle can be uh, fitted with another, uh, let's say, uh, systems like a remote weapon station or 30 millimeter uh, turret. First of all, welcome to CADB Babylon here and we are happy to see you here. Uh, we are, my name is Ayman, I am the project manager of this vehicle. This vehicle is called this Al Washak 4. It's a 4x4 armored vehicle, B6 protection level. The main feature of this vehicle is we designed it to be a surveillance vehicle for military, arm, uh, military application. So we arm it with 12.7 twin, 12.7 machine gun. So you have a five power, uh, fire uh, power. It's based on Toyota chases, 4x4 Toyota chases. Here we have just the driver and co-driver beside the gunner. Here we are in the, the we have the second variant of the vehicle. It's designed specifically for internal security application, where for public police and gendarme, so they can transport the through the personnel safely in a harsh area, and they can engage with the threat from inside and uh, it's armed with 7.62 machine gun. Uh, what's the most uh, feature of this vehicle to be, it, can, it has the capability to walk in urban and narrow street, uh, so it's a good solution for public security. The vehicle can transport in the rear for troop and in the side and from front the driver and the commander. Hello and welcome, sir, in Cat B Pavilion. I am Mohammed Obaidat, and this vehicle is a Jawad vehicle Mark IV, which is vehicle designed and built in Cat B Pavilion. In Cat B, this vehicle uh, designed and built here uh, with Cat B. Uh, the vehicle uh, designed to meet our Jordan Mary and uh, police and army mission. So the vehicle is suitable for uh, ABC and internal security and the uh, command and control uh, unit. The vehicle now in service in Jardim Mary and it, uh, we produce hundreds of this vehicle. The vehicle have a protection level B6 against of uh, 7.62 and 51 NATO ball. The vehicle integrated in chassis Ford 550 2070 and the vehicle equipped uh, 10 soldier inside it, this vehicle. The vehicle equipped with uh, our turret, we produce in uh, one of uh, company of Cadby. The vehicle have a protection level B6, also the same level of the vehicle, protection level. I am Captain Sofian uh, Odebat. Uh, this is the uh, mobile C2 and uh, intelligent, intelligence uh, fusion command post. Uh, this vehicle was designed and developed as per job requirements and the internal security requirements. The vehicle is equipped with the high-tech communication system, uh, sound systems, multiband uh, jammers. Also, this vehicle can uh, be connected to the city cameras and the border security cameras, as you can see in, the, uh, in these screens. This, this uh, screen uh, is uh, a web uh, dispatcher. Uh, it's used to connect multiple uh, type of communication systems uh, together. Also, we use the uh, Blue Force Tracker 
to give the uh, commander the ability to uh, uh, manage the uh, troops in the field in, uh, in a good way. So he can take the right decision and the right uh, commands in the right time. Also, as you can see in that, these screens, the vehicle is connected to the city camera, so, so uh, the surveillance camera, so uh, cameras, so we can see everything live streaming. Also, it's connected with the border security cameras, as you can see, live streaming. Uh, also, the vehicle is uh, equipped with the ARRAD system, as you can see up, up there. It's a long-range acoustic device, can send uh, high-volume messages. It could be used for internal security or the border security. I'm Marwal Badarni from Kajbi. Here we are on the front of uh, 155 millimeter uh, gun, which is integr integrated on a uh, six by six platform. The project was designed to improve the mobility and the transportability of the gun, of the gun uh, on a six by six uh, uh, platform. The cabinet is protected, protected, it's from uh, B6 uh, level uh, and it's uh, designed to protect the uh, crew uh, while uh, moving. Uh, six people uh, can operate the system. We can carry two people in the front of the uh, vehicle in the cabinet and the other four will be in the back uh, as you see in the seats. It's 155 uh, millimeter 39 caliber uh, which was used on the tracked vehicle. And we uh, get the uh, gun from the tracked vehicle and we use it on the wheeled vehicle. Mm -hmm. We can uh, carry uh, 22 uh, projectiles with uh, 22 uh, uh, charges and diffuses. We can uh, carry them uh, on the platform. As you see, there is uh, 11, 11 uh, space for the uh, a projectile on the right side and 11 on the left side. Before firing, we have to uh, direct the, fire, uh, the gun to the uh, targets and we use the speed as you see in the back of the vehicle and we use the outriggers on, from, in the front. The maximum firing range is around 18 kilometers and we can extend the range to, seven, to 20, 27 kilometers using the Arab ammunition. Uh, I am a project manager, uh, Mohammed Ashara. Give me, let me give you a short brief about uh, this project. Uh, the M, the M, uh, the 105 millimeter M 102 is an American tow gun. It's integrated on uh, al Wahsh vehicle uh, to suit the artillery requirement, shoot and scoot. Uh, since uh, we change uh, all, uh, all, all things that we need to put it on, uh, uh, on, the, on the vehicle. The vehicle is 4x4, four four, truck vehicle. The crew of the vehicle is 4 inside the vehicle, and the compartment uh, we will stand at level 2. Uh, we, we, we change the elevation and traverse uh, concept from manual one mechanical to an, uh, elect, uh, to an hydraulic system. And we can control uh, the elevation and traverse by joystick uh, on the turret of the system. Uh, the number of rounds is 24, 24 rounds. And we can, we can increase the number of rounds as the user requirement.